but today we'll be opening up the Pokemon Ultra Prism Collector's Tin. So I have gotten one of these Collector's Tins before I got the Shining Legends one, but as you guys may know, Ultra Prism has been my favorite set of Pokemon cards so far. So I did pick this up today, it was on sale. So I'm really excited to open this. It'll have the same items as the Shining Legends one did. It'll come with a mini album, some pencils, um, a little poster, um, as well as five packs of trading of Pokemon trading cards. So we're gonna head and we're gonna get this thing opened up. It'll also come with um, three promotional cards. Um, so. Ooh. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, so the first thing in here are the promotional cards and the coin. So it does come with a Lycan Rock coin. I believe this is his midday form. But here's the Lycan Rock coin that it comes with. So here are the three promotional cards. So you do get Lycan Rock. And again, I believe, no, this is his newest form. Excuse me, this is not midday. This is, um, dusk. Yeah, this is his dusk form. So the next promotional card that we do get... Let's put the code card back here. So the next promotional card that we get is we get another dusk main necrozma. So the difference is this one is not a GX, and I believe the powers on them differ. But that is cool. And then the final promotional card that we get is da uh, Dawn Wings Necrozma. So I'm really excited that I've got a little a little stack of these new Necrozma cards. So I'm excited about that. Alright. So the next item in here are the packs of cards that you get. So you get um, you get two packs of Ultra Prism cards. A pack of Sun and Moon, a pack of XY Breakthrough, and a pack of XY Evolutions. And we'll open these last. So next up, you get four pencils. So this pencil has the different versions of Lycan Rock. So there's Midday, Dusk, and Midnight. And then you get another pencil, another Two pencils that have Dawnwings Necrozma and Dusk Main Necrozma. <clears throat> so those are kind of cool. So next up are the... St oh, it's stickers. So this has Midnight Form, Midday Form, and Dusk Form of Lake and Rock. <clears throat> you also get a sticker with Dusk Main Necrozma and Dawnwings Necrozma. And you need to use the pencils for something. So you get this notepad... Looks like every page is um, Dusk Main and Dawn Wings Necrozma. So no, no form of Lake and Rock on the notepad. And then you get a little album to hold all of your cards in. So here you go, on the front it has Dusk uh, Dawn Wings Necrozma, and the back it has Dusk Main Necrozma. I'm going to get so sick of saying those names by the end of this. But anyways, now that that's everything, as well as the tin itself, which is now empty, we will go ahead and open up the uh, packs of cards, starting with Evolutions. Alright, let's see the color. So we got green. So it won't be, so it'll just be like a regular rare card. So first up we have Professor Oak's Hint. Next we have a Metapod. Next we have a Switch. Vulpix. Electabuzz. Magikarp. Ghastly. Sandshrew. Our Reverse Hollow is Professor Oak's Hint, again. <clears throat> and then our rare card is a Starmie, which I have actually received that one from this set before. Alright, so next up we have our pack of XY Breakthrough. Okay. 
Again, these packs are never easy to open, ever. Let's get these packs out of the way. Alright, so we got a white code card, which means it's going to be good this time. Alright, so we got Kui Lava, Pinsir, Starmie, Panpour, Cyndaquil, Staryu, Dud Duo, Ghastly. Okay. Alright. Alright. So we got a break card. We got a Marowak break. So I've gotten a break card before from a pack at Target that specifically said it came with a break card. This is my first time getting a break card in a pack of just a random pack. So this is kind of cool. That's exciting. It's kind of cool. And then our last card is a Cresselia. Alright, so I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about that break card. Alright, so next we're going to do the pack of Sun and Moon. Now, I like Sun and Moon. I like Sun and Moon. I like Guardians Rising. I like... Oh, what's the other one? Besides Guardian Rising. Whatever the other one is, and Ultra Prism, I'm not a huge fan of Crimson Invasion cards, as you guys may know. So let's go ahead and let's see what we got in here. So we got, we got a green code card, so. And we got a ground type energy. We got a Torah Cat, which is, is kind of cool. I've been playing Ultra Sun on my DS, and I picked Litten as my starter Pokemon, and I actually just evolved it earlier today to Torah Cat, so this is kind of cool. I'm excited about this card now. I got Crushing Hammer. Poliwhirl, Marini, Crab Brawler, Growlithe, Surskit, Fomantis, our Reverse Hollow is a Pokeball, and our regular rare is a Cloyster. So those are all those. Alright, so now we're going to be getting into my favorite cards, like I've said, Ultra Prism. Yeah, let's open up our two packs of Ultra Prism cards. Now this is kind of strange, because I want to say when I got the Shining Legends, 10 it came with all Shining Legends cards. No different sets, it was all Shining Legends, so. so. Alright, so we got a white code card from this one, which means it's going to be good. Alright, so we got a Fire Type Energy. A Fire Memory, a Bronzong, a Cosmo M, a Ghibli or Gibble, a Ryolu, a Buweasel, Drifloon, Yamma, which I've received this card from this set before. A hippo, hippopotus or hippopotus, or the reverse hollow, and as our regular hollow rare, we got a bastiodon. So you can see it's a hollow card. So that was pretty, pretty good. All right, so let's see what is inside this pack. That was actually a good rip. All right, so we got a green code card, which means it's not going to be anything that good. It'll be a regular rare card. Alright, so we got a grass type energy, a skateboard, an Alolan Dug Trio, a Cranidos or Craniados, a Murkrow, another Yanma, a Pachiriusu. A, another Gibble or Ghibli. A Bronzor. Our reverse hollow is a Spiritomb. 
and our regular rare is an Empoleon, which I believe I've also received that one in the past. But that was everything inside of the tin. So again, it came with all those different packs of cards, the pad of paper, the stickers, the pencil, the coin, the album, the three promotional cards, and the tin itself. So I would say for all of these tins, I would say if you have the money and you love uh, Ultra Prism, I would say go for it. I would recommend going with one of the character tins, especially if you want these cards specifically. If you need GXs or something, or you just like the way GX cards look, I would definitely go for these. But this one, you do get a good value because you are getting promotional cards, and you're getting a bunch of stuff, and you're getting packs of cards. So I would say it's basically based on preference, whatever you would want. But these tins are awesome um, because you are getting a pretty good value for them. You get packs of cards as well as these additional things, or if you get the tins... You get all cards, and it's a pretty decent value. But anyways, that is everything for this three-part event. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any ideas for any more Pokemon videos, or any more videos in general, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe.